Okay, I'm testing this uh, HP Pavilion. It's like 500 dash something. Um, and at the same time, I am testing the screen. It's pretty nice. Look at it. 1920 by 1200 okay uh, specs on this board an i5 4460s uh, right now I have 8 gigs of RAM in it hard drive is my test 40 gig hard drive uh, this is for the card reader that's in the front it says USB and then graphics as Intel HD 460. Uh, the system has Windows Home activated on it. Seems like it's pretty smooth. It's decently clean. You can see. Let's see the heat sink. Like I haven't done really anything to it. Fans pretty good. I don't know if you can see, but back here has a slot for a piece for a Wi-Fi card um, DVD-ROMs in here this is my test 40 gig hard drive so unless I get my hands on a cheap hard drive I'm just gonna reflip this with no hard drive in it um, and it's gonna have different RAM in it won't have these two RAM have more or less the standard RAM um, what else can I say about it? It's pretty smooth. The board's pretty clean. Case is pretty clean. DVD ROM seems to work. Okay, and then you look on the back. It's USB. Okay, for my keyboard and mouse. So it has Ethernet, two USB 2.0s, um, two USB 3.0s, you know, audio, mic, that stuff may have some kind of card maybe a video card Wi-Fi card some kind of card in it that's why that's missing um, do have the side panels off just because I want to show this part it is a 300 watt power supply Let's see if it will focus probably not but it's a 300 watt power supply and it's a standard motherboard because here's the USB 3 for the front it does have another USB header right here there's a USB header here but it's just the one way for the card reader uh, audio a standard 24 pin and here is the 8 pin so if you wanted to put another motherboard in here you could do so or you want to take this motherboard out put it in a different case you can power supply maybe probably pretty good on the power supply too long as it isn't too big of a case because the power supply is on the on the top here which in a normal computer that be technically the bottom so it seems to run pretty good and this monitor isn't the best the camera makes it look worse but it's a 1920 by 1200 resolution has uh, DVI VGA and a display port for ends uh, it is a 24 inch and this is a you can see HP there's a model number seems pretty decent big size screen it, it can rotate you know you can kind of tight can rotate it swings up and down and also pivots you know this way kind of like like this I guess can do my hand very good kind of like this uh, I don't know what else to say four minute video uh, system seems to run perfectly fine uh, I guess I'll go on the back story I got this as a tray for two motherboards I had as a recording this I actually am uploading it right now uh, system seems pretty good I was gonna keep this as a backup 
for I can actually put my i7 4790 in it that I'm using as a media center slash gaming computer alright but then I got another motherboard CPU I got my hands on a really nice motherboard with an i7 3770k so I'm gonna keep that as my backup and then just get rid of this one obviously I couldn't put an SSD in here if I was gonna put storage in here brand new I'd put an SSD in it it'd probably be a 500 500 gig I probably wouldn't even be lucky enough uh, I couldn't say that the price that this computer is going to be for if I would sell it I'd have to add that money on top of it which these only sell for like probably 40 to 60 dollars I seen some sold listings with no hard drives in them that sold for like fifty dollars plus shipping so the time I put an SSD in it which would be about a 500 gig would be around shipping with shipping tax would be about twenty five dollars and then turn around and try to sell it for fifty dollars the brand new SSD in it kind of not worth it I'd rather just sell it with no hard drive in it for probably twenty twenty five dollars the board obviously eBay the board alone would sell for twenty twenty five dollars so with no CPU in it twenty twenty five dollars probably just for the board the time you get shipping and handling in there so yeah I probably just put this up for sale on Facebook marketplace for around twenty five dollars with no hard drive in it and it's gonna have no basic RAM in it still I'm believing it's gonna have eight I probably have eight gigs yeah eight gigs of RAM in this system so once you put a hard drive or an SSD in it you will have a pretty nice computer and, and if you want it you could put a small video card in it and here's a slot put a small video card in it, and you would have a nice you know gaming computer HDMI out so you already have a media center so a basic computer already so it, it's pretty nice it, it, if you bought it for cheap like $25 you put a hard drive in it like I said $25 you have 50 in it and you have a really nice as nice computer then later down the line you like hmm and with a little bit more performance you could upgrade the 8 gigs to 16 gigs you could put an i7 in it you know they're pretty cheap you can get an i7 I think I paid twenty something twenty five I think twenty five dollars twenty five thirty dollars or something like that for an i7 forty seven ninety so if you had this for another year that CPU you, you could end up paying like twenty dollars six seven months and you would you know way better performance out of the system so yeah you could buy it today it meets your needs today if you keep Windows 7 Windows 10 on it you have a year two years two months as of you know As of recording this video, you you would have, you know, two years, two months left until Windows 10 isn't supported anymore. It will run Windows 11. You just can't regularly install it. You'll have to use like Rufus to get past the TPN. I think this might have a TPN module in it, but the CPU definitely doesn't support Windows 11. But you can run it. I'm running Windows 11 on the i7 3770. I've run Windows 11 on old Pentiums that are LGA 775. So the system will be pretty nice. System for someone who just needs to get on the internet, do internet, and you just don't want to do it from your phone with a small screen. You can hook this up to your TV in your living room or in your bedroom 
whatever you you know you just need a computer to do a little web searching little downloads of movies or whatever this would do perfect okay uh, there's nothing really else I can say about this it's a pretty nice computer a little scratch up in the front I do have the side panels off so people can see the inside I don't I, I'm like super close to it you probably I don't know if it's gonna pick up the noise but it's a pretty quiet system only thing I hear is this old Samsung hard drive which it won't come with a 40 gig hard drive probably either come with either I'm gonna buy a 500 gig SSD or it won't come with one okay thank you for watching and if you bought this computer or you're looking at buying this you know it works and it's good to go thank you for watching